Hi, my name is Stephen Hadhazi and I'm a public insurance adjuster and software developer. I have just created a new website called adjusters.us and I would like to bring your attention to some of the functions of the site. Uh, I basically created the site to become a home page for insurance adjusters. Um, we of course have the main object of the web page which is of course Google. Everyone has to have their Google fix and so there it is. There's your Google search box. I've, oh, I've also got a search box at the bottom as well. Uh, so you're never far from the Google search box. Uh, we have the other items on the page such as Google Maps, News, Gmail, uh, your login for all those things. Okay. Um, one of the main items on adjusters.us is the news. Uh, the news is pulled in by Google uh, per keywords that I've assigned such as hurricane season, 2011 hurricane season, uh, insurance adjuster, TWIA, Texas Windstorm Insurance Association, anytime those keywords and, and many more are mentioned uh, and they you know they arrive in the search engines for one reason or the other Google finds them and then about every 15 minutes they report them here so we get new uh, new news all throughout the day and so uh, go ahead and you know uh, check your news by clicking that that plus sign uh, you can also collapse the plus sign for storm it's by default it's it's already open uh, you can come down here and see the storm report, reports per NOAA. Now, what, basically what I did was I went over here to the Storm Prediction Center at NOAA and I scraped their map. And I also uh, scraped all of their weather data. Um, basically, you can come down here at the NOAA website and type in uh, a date. It, it does show by default, obviously, today's date and you'll see that we had some hailstorms up here um, but you can you can search their archives back years by typing in the date you want to uh, search for it, it starts with the year and then goes to the month and then goes to the day you know which is kind of uh, uh, usually we start with the month and then of course the day and then the year um, and so it's kind of cumbersome to use and also you're, you're limited to searching for one day at a time. Well I fixed that. Uh, I scraped all their data going back to 2005 and I'm probably going to scrape more later. I basically created a little internet robot to go in there and type in these dates and uh, scrape all the data every time it pulled up a date. And I downloaded it all and then I, I expanded the search capability. Okay, so you no, you no longer need to go to the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, you can come to adjusters.us and there's a whole lot more functionality. Let's go ahead and close that tab. Now, the tab we're left with, of course, is something like Weather, weather Underground, which is something that I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the Weather Underground map or if I'm going to pull in an API from uh, one of the other centers. But here very soon, we'll be coming into hurricane season and we all check back and uh, to, to this map uh, constantly to see the new storms that have uh, emerged. And so I'm going to be pulling in a uh, hurricane uh, map as well very soon. Um, let's go ahead and go back to adjusters.us. Now, um, one thing I'm really proud of is I've just I've just created this advanced search box right here. Okay, you can of course search by date. I put it in the right order, April 19th, 2011, rather than the year being first, like on the uh, NOAA website. Uh, let's go ahead and click for yesterday's results. I'm going to show you how that works. And there you have it on the map. And then there are the hail reports and the wind reports. Um, now some of you may want more than that so let's go ahead and go back home let's go to the advanced search and here you see we can search by a range now this is April 19th 011 same thing here let's go ahead and change this to 10 so we're gonna be searching back one entire year 
um, the report type, tornado, hail, wind, or all. Let's go ahead and just search for hail. Um, we're going to look, let's do the whole state of Texas. Let's see. And let's search for hail larger than an inch and a half. So here's our criteria. One year back, hail only, larger than a year, uh, larger than uh, one and a half inches, and only in the state of Texas. So let's click search and see what we've got. Quite a bit. Okay, you can see here the size of the hail, 1.75, 2 inch, 2.75. Uh, you'll also notice that um, these reports all have a latitude and longitude. Uh, real soon, probably in the next week, I'm going to put in another search box. You're going to be able to put in a street address, okay, and then put in a radius like, say, 30 miles or 50 miles. And you're going to be able to fill in all this other data, and you're basically going to be able to say, look, in the last year or two years or whatever the, the time frame might be I wanna know about all hail or tornadoes or wind uh, that hit in within say 50 miles of this address and it's gonna pull it up for you um, and I'm really excited about getting that up for you guys um, another uh, option that I'm working on right now I've actually um, I, I do actually have it done uh, to some degree, but I'm, I'm making it better, and so I don't want you guys to use it yet. And that would be the Manage Alerts section. Um, you can create an account here at adjusters.us, okay? Uh, and once you have that account, we'll be able to go into Manage Alerts, and you're going to be able to set alerts up. I've set a few up right here. Uh, this one is for hail. It's for the state of Arkansas. The, uh, it says country, but it's actually county. Uh, and, and actually, that, that word country was brought in from the, um, the NOAA website. For whatever reason, they're using country and not county. I'm going to have to send them an email. Um, anyway, so I've set up a... a, a alert for Hale, Arkansas, Dallas County, uh, and basically any size greater than zero inches. And so anytime Hale falls in Dallas County, it's going to automatically um, send me an email. Okay, And so you can set up multiple alerts uh, to let you know uh, when, when hail falls in areas of that you're interested in. So um, and not, not just hail, of course, you can set up for wind or tornadoes or anything like that. And then there again, very soon, you're going to be able to type in an address and say, look, I want to be alerted uh, if hail falls bigger than one inch within, say, 50 miles of this address. And so you'll, you'll be able to do that very soon. Um, so that right there is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. So please let me know if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, any ideas about how we could uh, make this site better. Um, I'm really excited about coming out with the new hurricane uh, tracking map soon. And uh, so please give me a call or send me an email. My email address is right here, stephen at docudamage.com. Uh, thank you very much.